History of Russia in 100 Minutes by Smart Histories. Khrushchev Thought. The period known as the Khrushchev Thaw during the 1950s and the beginning of the 1960s was the most promising, open, and prosperous time in Soviet history. It was Nikita Khrushchev who banished Stalin's reign of terror and improved people's living standards. Struggle for power. After Stalin's death in 1953, a fierce fight for power began between his ministers, Lavrenty Beria, Gorgi Malenkov, and Nikita Khrushchev. Over the next few years, Khrushchev managed to gain the upper hand, and he subdued his opponents. Agricultural Reform Khrushchev was a self-educated countryman, and he was eager to reform the agricultural sector. The Virgin Lands Campaign was initially a great success. Peasants were encouraged to take up new farmlands in Central Asia. The overall area of harvested land, indeed, increased by 50% in the middle of the 1950s. Thaw. Khrushchev's time is known as the Thaw, heralding a more relaxed atmosphere for everyday life. It all began at the 20th Party Congress in 1956. In Khrushchev's secret speech, he criticized Stalin for his tyranny, thereby effectively ending Stalin's cult of personality. A number of political prisoners were freed from the Gulag camps, and some of Stalin's victims were rehabilitated. In 1956, the Soviet Union faced a popular uprising against Soviet hegemony in Hungary. It was mercilessly put down with tanks, and about 3,000 civilians lost their lives. Nevertheless, Khrushchev's popularity grew at home and abroad. In 1959, he was the first Soviet leader to visit the United States. The Soviet Union overtook the United States many times in the space race. In 1957, they sent the world's first satellite, Sputnik 1, into orbit. Then, in 1961, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space. Very optimistic plans were made for the future at that time. Khrushchev advocated peaceful coexistence with the United States, at the same time reassuring the Russian public that the Soviet Union would soon surpass the United States economically and attain true communism in the near future. China, Cuba, and Corn Khrushchev failed in three cases. China, Cuba, and Corn Differences of opinion arose between Khrushchev and the communist leader of China, Mao Zedong, who accused Khrushchev of pro-Westernness. After the 1960s, there was more competition than cooperation between China and the Soviet Union. Also, Khrushchev's plan of revolutionizing Russian agriculture with extensive corn growing was a total failure. Most importantly, the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis delivered a decisive blow to Soviet prestige. In 1964, Khrushchev's more conservative party members conspired against him. He had to step down, and the power was handed to Leonid Brezhnev. Khrushchev lived quietly as a pensioner until his death in 1971. Thank you for watching. For thousands of helpful resources of Russian history, please visit our website at smarthistories.com.